Here's a test strip on Arista lithographic film produced with two different recipes and two different development times for each recipe, so giving me four different test strips. I have a video that describes the process of exposing these test strips. However, I did mess this one up. Uh, this bottom row, this is base fog, zone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so zone 5, this would be the mid-tone. I stuffed up, I don't have a zone 8. I actually think I may have obstructed the lens of the camera recording this test strip 9 and zone 10. I think it's very exciting to find uh, the colour differences through here. And I've, I've been doing some reading and I think I understand it now. Like All these test strips were done with pyrogalol or pyro. Now the difference in the two recipes is the addition of the restrainer benzotriazole. These two with restrainer, that'll be 6 minutes and 8 minutes. And these two without restrainer, that'll be 6 minutes and 8 minutes. Uh, and obviously the fogging here is far too much. This is going to be unnecessarily hard to print and it's no good. I took pyro and I halved the part B which is the, the alkaline and accelerant and then I replaced it with potassium hydroxide uh, which is a very high pH strong alkaline aggressive accelerator. So this is the same recipe with the addition of benzotriazole. Now what I'm learning reading about um, staining developers is it's the type of accelerator that actually dictates the colour of the stain. I'm not used to seeing this red up here. That's the uh, potassium hydroxide doing that. Benzotriazole also changes the colour of not just pyronegatives but all negatives. It looks like you can add in the contrast with the hydroxide but then take out extreme densities with the restrainer. Back to what's more unusual about this test is the colour difference and what it means. Now, um, I've taken a readings on a white light scale with a densitometer, but this isn't really going to describe how this is going to print. This is like an amber red sort of situation here and I actually think that's it's almost going to mimic the safe light, the, the red that um, traditional black and white paper is not sensitive to. So it says a density of 1.5. I actually think that because of the red that is going to be very dense and very hard to print through. So thus there's actually going to be a lot of contrast between the zone 9 and 10 here. Even though on the white light scale it's point. 02 of a difference here, the colour difference is huge. I think that'll actually print up contrasty. Now the green here on a multi-grade paper is going to lower contrast. Here it's going to be very thin, you're going to get a very good black, you're going to get very high contrast in your mid-tones, but now the green in multi-grade um, variable contrast black and white paper is um, blue-green sensitive. And when it's blue sensitive, it's high contrast, and when it's green sensitive, it's low contrast. So when you're adding yellow to your enlarger head to lower the contrast, you're actually creating a green light, which is acting on the... Um, so this negative is going to tint your highlights to be low contrast. So it's almost... This is almost going to create like an HDR effect. Now I'm going to say this, this one is going to be a very fun process to print, a very easy process to print. I think you're gonna, your highlights are gonna stain control, you're gonna get a good black, and you're gonna get a lot of contrast in the middle.